Happen, everybody. Wow. Nolan North, wow. Troy Baker. Oh. We're on the couch. It's retro replay, and I forgot to tell you that for like the last Five ten minutes. minutes. Easily, both. Holy I, we're crap. just. I, I was immediately. That dude. That's that's got to be jet lag. Fresh off our trip uh, down under. Melbourne, I mean, Gold literally Coast. fresh. Literally off the plane last night. Did we, you sleep? Like, could you sleep? Other episodes. I did a little, uh, but. You know, it's it's strange when you leave at night. You should try to get up. I'm gonna karate chop this fence. <laughs> I, I don't. I <laughs> to no avail. Did you do you sleep on planes? Did you do well? I don't sleep too well on planes. I remember, and one time I made the terrible mistake of trying to drink my way into a slumber. <gasps> Never. Yeah, that's not good. You just wake up really. You go dehydrated. straight to the hangover. You go. I feel like sleepy and wake up hungover. Yeah, it's not good. I told you that story. I may have told you that story. I only had one glass of wine. They just never let it be empty. And she kept coming over like she was cheating. She was like, I'm just gonna give you a little bit more wine. Oh, I'm just gonna give you a little bit more wine. And I was like, I should maybe not give her no more little I don't wine. I want no more wine. <laughs> and I finally was like, I need to go to sleep now. And the world was spinning when I went to sleep. And then I woke up and I was like, mm mm. And this is like a 10 hour flight, so it's not like I slept that long. And I ended up throwing up on a plane. Did you, you throw up? I threw up on a plane. I, I very, uh, with a demure, oh, you don't wanna do that. But there's nowhere to go. It's not letting me go in anything. There's nowhere to go, go over the truck. Is there anything in the truck that I could possibly need? Yeah, I just walked is, over and I was like, is me, there, and I is waited there, for oh, someone to like come out of the bathroom. They did, and they closed it, and I politely locked the door, and a little light came on, and I just painted it. Painted <laughs> <laughs> it. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> it was bad. And then I came out, and I think one of the flight attendants knew. She was like, are you okay? I was like, I'm much better now. Hi, can I come in and shoot you? Ding, 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 ding. How do I, what do I do? I think I screwed up. This was open and I think I'm stuck and now I just, should just. Can you go backwards? Hmm. <sighs> yeah, no shit, mission status incomplete. Oh, shoot the lock. Hey, use that, uh, that button over here on your finger. Eh, 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 eh. Now kick it open in a, like an archer-like way. Hey, we're playing Archer. Sean Connery has the arms of a 15-year-old boy. Looks like he's never tried shower sex. Nice stunt master role. By the way, that was a, that was a. Then he just, then he got shot, he looked like a dolphin. Actually, dolphins are more like. Is that a dolphin or is that a porpoise? Did you do that on porpoise? I don't know what the difference is. Dolphins and porpoise, what, I know there's a slight difference. Or is it a massive difference? There's a difference. Hi everybody, welcome to Retro Replay again. Nolan or Troy Baker on the couch. Today's 1997 GoldenEye. We have been, ooh, people have been like, nice. oh, begging oh. for us to play this for so long and it has been. Oh, my, my, spin around. Spin around, there he is. Who have been like asking us to play this for so long? Oh, oh, that was right in the crotch. That's what you try to shoot. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, hi. Hi. Guy's like, why do I miss so close? I am five feet away and yet I miss. This is like classic henchman. Henchman shooting? His henchman cliche. Oh, go get his ammo. Oh, did you see that? He grabbed his wrist. He shot him in the wrist oh, and he went he down. Shot the gun out. He's like, ah. He's like, ow! And he played dead. This was in the Pierce Brosnan oh, area. Oh, 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 don't. Beige, beige, beige. By the way, that's a flammable liquid there behind you. Shoot it, shoot it. Oh, see, so you should have shot that from back there. And then well, he had a bad guy. There's catacombs in there. I think you need the catacombs. Catacombs where they bury people. But, well, they're, okay, but they're hallways in the movies with dead people that happen. Buried there. You hate those boxes. 
You know, one of my favorite James Bond movies was uh, Box of Pussy. That's not one. I'm pretty sure it is. Why do you have to make the, the, the name already worse than it already is? It's already Octopussy. There's like eight of them. Funny how it always goes. Like how that got passed, I will never know. And you know something? I'm going to tell you something. Uh, you know, kids. Yeah, you want to miss something? Hey, I got something from Uncle Noli here for you. Eight of those is too much. Even for Uncle Noli. Three tops. Especially, you know. Need a lot of milk, a lot of protein. It's like the Total Recall, she had three boobs. And, you know, even that was like, yeah, it's too much. She's free. Well, not free, honey, but available. <laughs> it is. It's just, like, it's like. You know what's my favorite boob reference? Weird science. When they're making the woman. Oh, what did they use? Barbie? And they go, and... he goes, no, no, no. It's yeah. It. Anything bigger more than, than a handful. handful. Anything more than a handful, you're risking a sprained tongue. Yeah. I mean, anything bigger than a handful, you're risking a sprained tongue. Anthony Michael Hall back in the heyday. Okay. Anthony Michael Hall and that other guy. Who played? Wyatt? No, no, but I do remember Bill Paxson as Chet. This dude! Buttwad! And Kelly, uh, uh... Kelly LeBrock. Kelly LeBrock, who made a oh. horrible era of um, marrying, I think, Steven Seagal. No, she didn't. Uh, I believe so. I know they dated. If they, oh, did you see that? That drop right there may be rival the one that you showed me recently on Vikings. That guy, that guy right there, that that drop right there was almost like the greatest uh, pratfall we've ever seen. If we're allowed to roll it, Drew. How does he hit the table like that? I don't. I don't want to know because I feel like that's a guy who just like was really over eager and just decided to go watch this, and they did it in one take. And he broke his like face. They're like, we had to kill your character because you just, PANG! I mean, we've watched that in slow-mo, and it is just. It's brutal. It's brutal. But I, I wonder if that, do you think that's, maybe it's a dummy, but I don't think it is. But the arms stay to the side. Arms at the side. Mm. Oh, hi. Hi with twins. Don't worry about us. We're just here to shoot you, Mr. Bond. Look at them. Oh, you've gotten to the control center. These extras were played by Anus and Anus. Oh no, they shoved me in the face, and then I got one in the wrist. It hurt so bad. Broke my watch. <laughs> I have a Piaget watch. It sounds very expensive, but it really is not. Why haven't it's we made a, a movie of just about the henchman? That should be a movie. We should uh, we should come up with a movie where it's just the henchman. You know, it, the behind the scenes of a bond, with, like the the people there going, "See that guy in tuxedo? You going to work killed, today? I think he killed Ricky. What? Yes, yeah, Ricky. I'm going to work today. You know that Phyllis's husband? He's not a henchman. He's actually in management. Yeah, well, that's because he didn't go to school for henching. <laughs> you know, that's all I could do, Alice. That's all I could do. I'm sorry that I'm not as good as Phyllis's husband. You gotta, you gotta step up. If you cared up. more, then you wouldn't be just a henchman. Yeah. I suppose you're gonna die today, which is gonna make dinner late again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Honey, you don't think I Ooh, don't I know? A lot of ammo. I don't think I know how to do henching. I was top of the class. Is that, is that what the the? I don't. Know. That would be is henching. What are you doing? I'm henching. I'm henching. Oh. I feel like I've already gone down this way. Is this the, no, there's a roof, bro. Wait, wait did, is this how you got here? No. Maybe, is this the gate you kicked open? I think you're running back. One. Ah, for God's sakes. Where's the map when you need one? Right, we need a mini map. Jeez, you can't ever be, I can't we need be some red responsible to find map. my way around the GoldenEye world. So the movie GoldenEye, how did that start? Asked, I, asked me with no prompting whatsoever from anyone else. How did it start? I don't remember. Oh, I remember now. Fredams, Fredams. If you're gonna play this game, you should uh, refresh yourself. Uh, I forgot all about, about the that. movie. Uh, 
I don't know if I, I... I forgot. I didn't commit a lot of them to memory. A lot, a lot of the Pierce Brosnan. I remember when Roger Moore was hanging up the, the Walther PPK. It wasn't a PP7, it was a PPK. I'm almost positive. Unless Drew's already corrected me on this. He was resigning, or he was being given his marching orders. Yes. And then it was like, who's going to be Bond? And then it was like, clearly it's going to be Pierce Brosnan. He had done Remington Steel, which was kind of like his you know, audition show. And it was clearly going to be him. And then Remington Steele would not let him out of his contract, kind of like our, you know, Tom Selleck story with mm. Indiana Jones. And instead, we got Timothy Dalton. We got Timothy Dalton. Who's gone on to do some really funny parts. Oh, man, on uh, Hot Fuzz? Brilliant in yes. Hot Fuzz. Really hot. And, oh, by the way, speaking of that movie, Rory McCann. Right. Okay, who uh, but was, uh, I think his name's Donald. I think he was Yarp. He just said Yarp, 6'6". Six, six. Yarp. That, <laughs> for Game of Thrones fan, is the Hound. And I met, I got to meet him in, in Tampa at a convention. Super nice guy. Super, super nice, like, soft-spoken Scotsman. He's just, and he's talking about golf. So wait, the Hound mm -hmm. is Donald? Yarp. Confirmed. <laughs> Looks different with like, <laughs> just burn. <laughs> burn and, and hair. Burn and hair. Fuck off. Oh, uh, my favorite part is when he when he goes he's on the phone and and Simon Pegg is impersonating him. He goes, Narp. <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't remember like like I remember my first Bond movie was. I, oh man, I, setting you back up, a little callback to what you already did was Octopussy. Is it the Octopussy or Living Daylights? You know, I'm gonna pause for a second. I'm gonna tell you something. I think my first introduction to Bond, honestly, might have been Roger Moore. Me might too. Might have been something like, um, no, 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 I know which one it was. The Man with the Golden Gun. Man with the Golden Gun is Roger Hervé Moore. Hervé Vilches. Uh, yeah, they uh, plain, but not in that. Yeah, no, not in that. Uh, yeah, Man with the Golden Gun. That Theater? Would, uh, uh, pff, uh, probably TV. Mm. And then, uh, you know, you, you love those, and then I see the other one. So it was like Roger Moore, and then one day I saw the, the Sean Connery one. And that's the big debate. Everybody says, who's your definitive Bond? And I'm... It's so hard. I, I Kind of Daniel Craig? Uh, kind of Daniel Craig. Kind of Daniel Craig. The name's Bond. James Bond. I don't know. I'm gonna what it forgive is. him for the last one. What, what was the last one? Well, the the, the even numbered ones were kind of Casino Royale. I think maybe my favorite, the, my Bond favorite movie. Bond, the perfect Bond movie. It really, really is. It encapsulates. There's so many people who's like, he wasn't Bond. I'm like, yeah, he was. He was someone who was outside the system, which they tried to do yeah. with. Uh, who came after Pierce Brosnan? After Pierce Brosnan. What, was that was that Daniel Craig? It was Timothy Dalton, whatever, that was like, I'm leaving MI6. They couldn't pull it off with him. It wasn't until Daniel Craig, if it was like, I didn't know that M stood for it, say another word and I'll have you killed. Judy Dench was one of the only ones that made it over, like, from that era, because she played M in the Pierce Brosnan ones as well. I just loved all the tie-ins. It, it was like a fresh, clean slate. They brought in a lot of the elements of the old, they brought in the old DB4 that, that Bond drove, you know, in the first one, when he like plays from the poker tournament and that's how he gets the, uh, he gets the car and she was like, do you wanna go back to my place? And so he gets in the car and they come around and he does a real fast spin around back to the valet. Welcome to my home. <sighs> so great. Uh, she was such a Bond girl as well. And then you have Vesper. Oh, uh, money penny. I'm the money. Every penny of it. That's yay. The way that they did it was brilliant. Yes. But then they kind of, like what was the, it was, uh, what was the second one called? Quantum of Solace? What does that mean? First of all, that's just a weird title. Quantum of Solace? Don't make me think too hard about it. Like Living Daylights, Thunderball. Don't, that's a, that, those are Bond titles. Duh. Oh, hold on, there's a guy shooting at me in the toilet. That's not cool. I mean, kind of reminds me of the scene in True Lies. Sorry about this. 
Why am I? Why is he not? Dying. Where's my gun? Pull out your gun, Jesus! Ugh, I was throwing bombs or something. Or little pick up a kit. Ugh. You should never say "pull out your gun" in a men's room, by the way. Mm-hmm. I know. This but is, that that will never lead to anything good. Now, this is terrible. I just don't like when I I, they, I dropped into a bathroom. I didn't know. I I don't. Hi hi. What are you doing? Oh, you're dead. Oh, we did the great. By the way, class. they have some great deaths. Yeah, here. just like the drop to the knees face plant. One of the classics. Big spooch bosh. I see you. I see. This is one of the first. I mean, first person shooters we've done before, like Wolfenstein, which is great. Um, but this is the first time that it was like free roaming, 3D level. Um, it was originally supposed to be a 2D single player side scrolling game. Like Donkey Really? Kong. Yeah. I got a question for you. Okay. Because we can always talk about, hi, bye. Yeah, you're okay. No, you're not. You're a musician. What's your favorite song from any Bond film? I mean, besides the theme? Yeah, besides It's the like the theme is just like, <sighs> maybe I'm being a bit biased. I, I didn't like it at first, the one that Chris Cornell did. Um, you Know My Name or whatever. But it was just such a cool departure for what it normally was. Goldfinger is still just like the classic. My favorite line. Goldfinger. My favorite line from all of those. Goldfinger. No, Mr. Bond. Expect, expect you to you die. Expect you to die. But he says it. Everybody says it like uh, you know, uh, like Doctor Evil. But if you watch it, he's walking up the stairs, and he goes, "No, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die. No, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die." Really, you know what? I it's probably have had my memory a bit. It's it's really it's, it's just it's a really strong choice by the actor <laughs> to just be so non. Yeah, just no. Kind of. The only thing is that got me about Goldfinger. Mm. Remember where it was set, right? Mm -hmm. Fort Knox, right? Which is where? In Alabama, Kentucky, Kentucky, Kentucky. And all of a sudden, you have you have like a division <laughs> of of Asian uh, henchmen in uniforms running around Kentucky. I've been to Kentucky. That is going to be noticed by authorities. Yeah, it's usually going to be some guy going, there's a bunch of Chinamen running around there. What's this? But by crazy. God, what the hell's going on? Man, let me tell you something. I don't see them boys running around. And what they got on? All these little, little outfits. They all dress like, and I know there ain't no parade going on around there. Oh God, God, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a call. Somebody, I'm calling somebody right after I finish taking this shit. My God, that's the people that are in Kentucky. Well, that's one guy. One guy. You know who's from Kentucky? Who's from Kentucky? Drew. Drew knows exactly what we're talking. That's about. Drew. That was actually Drew before he came out to California. <laughs> then he got teeth. Learned to, yeah, <laughs> apparently because that had, guy has no teeth. By the way, this uh, episode of Retro Replay is brought to you by uh, dental plastic surgeons. I'm sure they have something. Dental. That they call them. So I am riffing here. <laughs> Don't bust. Dental plastic. Man, I just saw one run down there with one of them one damn grenade launchers, and the whole thing was going to blew it up. What you remind me of is the guy that played, like, in every 80s movie, he played either a cop or a military man. He was, like, in war games. But you remember him, like, he was like, I think I've got to do shot. But him My after a stroke, like, like, Bell's palsy, it's not good anymore. He probably shouldn't be working, but someone felt bad. He's like, I gotta make my insurance for SAG, and they gave him this job. What was his name? What was that guy's name? Oh, I know who you're talking about. He ended up on. Barry? Yes, and he was in. Um, he Everything. ended up. He ended up on uh, Northern Exposure TV show. Yes, he did. And he had the greatest line in War Games. One of my favorites. I'm so happy you said it. He had the greatest line in War Games, which was... Damn it, I'd piss on a spark plug if I thought it'd do any good. Piss on a spark plug? If it would help. It would help. Barry something. Barry Corbin. Not Thank be, you. Not to be mistaken for Barry Gordon. Barry or, Gordon? or Barry Gibb. Barry Gibb. <laughs> Piss on a spark club, pick a pick it with Hey, how about this for a plot? 
All right, 007. That's me today. It's time to get down to business. Some time ago, Pirate, a top secret combat helicopter, was hijacked from a French war vessel in Monte Carlo. Pirate was stolen by Xenia Onatop. She was assisted by several mysterious comrades. Yes, she was. Xenia, a former Soviet pilot, is a known accomplice of the Janus Syndicate, an international organization that is world renowned for its dealings in top flight illegal arms. They are currently based in St. Petersburg, Russia. I thought I was going to say Florida there for a second. I was like, what an odd choice to base the world headquarters for your evil organization. You know where we should go? St. Petersburg. It's the oldest city in the Union. It's St. Augustine. It's I think close it to St. Petersburg. St. Augustine is the original, like, like Ponce de Leon was there. Pirate reappeared two days ago in Russia near the site of an unusual disturbance believed to be the result of the di <laughs> worst word ever discharge of the GoldenEye weapon satellite. The situation is serious, 007. If Pirate or GoldenEye has zero, fallen zero, into the seven. wrong hands, I don't have to tell you that the security of the free world could be in jeopardy. We want you to recover the Pirate helicopter and get to the butt of bottom of this. You are licensed to kill. The, to me, this controller was the most, we haven't quite, we kind of wanted to be a couple of things and we're not sure exactly what it should be. So we're just gonna put all of them. Uh, how do you hold it? Well, you, you kind of hold it by all of them. And then you kind of maybe do a little bit. It was just like, it, it felt like it was a early concept for a controller. Hey. That never got cold down to a working prototype. Sorry, boys. Hey, picked up some ammo. God dang it. This kind of feels like same thing in Wolfenstein. We're like, where do I go? It really does. I, I, I'm, I'm just shooting shit now. I think I'm supposed to. Well, don't waste your bullets, bro. You're going to need those. I should go back and find some. We're playing through the campaign of this, but the reason why I don't really remember much of the campaign is because the way we did this back in 97 um, was the multiplayer. Do you say multi or multi? I say multi. Like if you if you have a vitamin that has everything in it, that's a what? Multivitamin. Weird. Multivitamin? Multi no, multivitamin. Yeah. I would say multivitamin. You're like a multivitamin. It sounds weird to me. Multi. Multi. Yeah, U a multi. But you go ultimate. Ultimate. That would be weird, right? So, but I mean, multi, Sometimes ulti. Make my head hurt. Uh, go away. There's a guy in here. I wonder if there's a guy in here. Occupado! <laughs> Someone's in here. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. This John Mulaney bit. Oh, someone's in here. <laughs> I have the weird tone of voice that comes in. Oh, yeah, man. Hold on, what do I do with this guy? Well, you. Just oh, oh God, maybe he ran. go get him. There's all the all sorts of people that are just, you know, please, I'm just trying to get on with my day. Yeah, this guy's holding his hands up. Don't shoot him. He's he's a good guy. And you can get hurt for doing that. So he's I, I just want to do this crazy. so don't, bad. Don't, don't. It's Come bad. On, don't look. be a good oh. boy. Be a good don't. Oh. oh don't. Hello. Don't. Shoot the glass. I want you to say my name. Any thug can kill. I want you to take your ego out of the equation. Nope. Oh, dude. No more head. <laughs> Cold blooded killer. I'm 007. On a lot of these levels, if you do that, you don't pass. You well, fail. You know what? Like morally and ethically. I don't know. What, I don't. Th I didn't read the mission briefing, and that's not being a very good bond, I suppose. I'm sorry, were you trying to... I forgot about this. The karate chop, which you've seen. Oh, I could have karate chopped that You guy. could. Yeah, there it is! Slapped you! You probably think I'm finished, huh? Uh, it was supposed to be slightly more lethal looking, martial arts style chop. In the end, the developers found the slightly slappy nature of it funny. The multiplayer mode that allows you to use this attack is called Slappers Only. Slappers Stop Only? Stop it. Stop it. What? Stop it. Hold on. Hold on. I just chased him down these stairs. He went this way. I gotta find the toilet. Oh, wow. That would have been terrible. 
During development, there was an idea where the player, if the player had to reload, he or she had to pull out the rumble pack that goes in here and reinsert it, just like putting in a magazine or real gun. But that idea was scrapped later on in development. Yeah, because people would have like broken the cartridge and then Probably. mailed those in. Probably. To the developer and said, um, here's specific instructions <sighs> of where you can put these pieces. And they would have all been one place. I'll tell you one thing. It would be so helpful if they had a map. I keep going up and down stairs, and it's like, I'm just trying to find a toilet. <gasps> Is that the toilet? I mean. Excuse me, anyone in here? Occupied. Excuse me, anyone in here? Yeah, someone's in here. Excuse me, there was a blonde guy in this. If there's a guy in this one, they were, def to they were totally doing oh. it. Excuse me, you in here? Like after no, lunch? Okay. It's all clear. Hold on. Hey, yep, okay. This is such I, a classic. I, you, I, oh, there we go. Poor guy, they're just... Guy's trying to take a duke. Lunch. Hey, anybody in there? I'm spending an absurd amount of time probably doing things that aren't no, too uh, mission critical. Like, Bond, what are you doing? I wanted to see if anyone was taking a duke, madam. I don't think that's part of the mission, 007. Perhaps you should continue forth. Oh, no. I want to see if there's anyone in this one. Okay. Anyone in the urinals? You've done all of those. Oh, Jesus. I didn't read the mission briefing, so I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> mission briefing. By the way, if I were a spy, I would be Archer. You wouldn't read the mission briefing? No, I never do this. Phrasing. Um, phrasing. Phrasing. Yeah. Phrasing. Phrasing, mother. Phrasing. Phrasing. Shut up. Just started Archer. He's super into it. I'm super into it. Watch it on the plane. Um, if anybody has any suggestions how I get out of this labyrinth of tile so i will i would i would my kingdom for an exit don't do what you're doing do differently than what you're doing and you should be better uh oh, oh i just put it bombs i put a sticky bomb in here there you go i i think i threw everything else in the bathroom by accident i just blew up a bunch of urinals so Frank, you don't have to clean the bathrooms today. Really? Yeah, why not? They're, they're not there anymore. <laughs> I can see why you can get really oh. completely into this game. Bro, just <clears throat> we haven't even gotten into the multiplayer yet. The multiverse. Oh, you can do glass breaks in this. Don't shoot the scientist. Oh. Let's go, doctors. Doctors. We have to go now. Hopefully that got your attention. See, the thing is, like, you can't really lampoon any other Bond. It doesn't he, work, does he, it? He's Irish. Pierce Brosnan is Irish. There's only been one English Bond, right? Uh, two now. So... Daniel Craig. Roger uh, Moore is Welsh. Uh, um, no, a, a George Lazenby. George Lazenby is British. I think he's British. But, I, I mean, I could be really pissing off people right now. Timothy Dalton... So Sean Connery Timothy was... Timothy Dalton, I think, was... was Sean was Connery Welsh? was Scottish, obviously. But Roger Moore was Welsh. And Ooh, Roger Moore? Roger Moore is Welsh. Where is he coming from? You blew up the clinic real good. Blew up the clinic real good. Bungalingus, doom, goom, 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 Now I'm just looking for dudes. I don't even know where I am. I'm just looking for them on, shoot people. Just looking for dudes. You can go on Grinder. <laughs> What's your, what's your name, 007? 007. My name's 007. That's, we're sorry, that screen name has already been taken many times. 0012. If I end up back in the toilet, I'm gonna get pissed. Oh no, I'm back in that part. Did but you know? Nolan, you've always been here. You've always been the caretaker. Do you wanna get into multiplayer? Uh, there's multiplayer? That sounds brilliant. Blah. There are multiple modes. <laughs> weapons are, yeah, weapons you are rocking. 007, I want to be 009. Oh. This is what I did for the, this is what like, everyone's been playing, like say, play GoldenEye, because this is what everybody did. Oh, so I get it. So you say, so this is like, this is like the original before Fortnite. Before there was Call of Duty, before there all was Fortnite, stuff, before multiplayer. all this, this was like the real first game that like brought the multiplayer experience in. And I mean, friendships were destroyed by this game. So what, what kind of, so we can choose the weapons? Yes. We also can choose our health. So like if you had a Lasers, dick, golden gun, slappers. Slappers only. 
You wanna do it? I'm, I'm totally in. Slappers? Slappers. Like Maybe. you literally come up and slap someone? Maybe, well, I was just talking about the karate chop. Yeah. Did you hear me say that? Yeah, but that that's, that's you can just karate chop people, that's it? That's it. Throwing that's what they said. automatics. Oh, the sniper rifle. Right, you, sniper rifles is brutal. Everyone just like, I know, uniformly just went, <gasps> because it's all just looking down. And if you're like right up against somebody, like if, if you run into somebody in a- He can slap you to death? Well, no, the only weapon you have would be sniper rifles. <clears throat> Slappers? Slappers. All right, let's 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 do it. <laughs> Where is the best place to slap someone? In a library. <laughs> well, duh. Oh, well, it's just, all right, cool, so it shows me. Where are you? Oh, you must be above me. <laughs> uh, Coming for you. I hope so, because I don't know where I am, but I'm gonna slap the shit out of you when I find you. Where are you? Ooh, you just picked up some body armor too, brother. Keep your eye on your own screen. Oh no, dude, this is the strategy. You know what I'm gonna do? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be like the shark. I'm never gonna stop moving. You can't catch me. Get ready for screams, because I know the second that we see each other, it's just gonna be just a slap fest. I'm gonna get excited. <laughs> Back here. <laughs> little, get back here, you little bitch. Come here, you little bitch. I'll <laughs> bitch slap you, bitch. I can't tell who's getting hit. Beat me to the punch, homie. Oh, I almost got you. Oh, oh. oh my God. You, I. Oh, press start, homie. Well, you know what? That's what you get. What? For slapping a woman. Kids, you know what? We learned today in Golden Eye. <laughs> you, don't, you don't slap the chicks. And and I apologize to anybody who... I was referring to little chickens. You don't slap women. Ever. I want to be Boris. I want to be Anus is who I want to be, but Boris is like the most close you could ever find. That's Sean Bean, bro. I'm going to be Trevelyan. Yeah, you should be you should be Sean Bean's character so I can. You will be guaranteed to die. <laughs> Why? Because Sean Bean dies in everything. <laughs> For England, James. For me. All right, let's see. I don't know. You did rockets, right? Yeah, it said rockets. Oh wait. Ha 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 Some rockets. Oh, I feel like we're right on top of each other. <laughs> this is the anxiety of playing multiplayer. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I killed myself, by the way. You did? No. Yes, because I... <laughs> Oh no! Oh no, I, I have no weapon. I have no weapon. Oh. <laughs> oh! You're Sean Bean. You're supposed to die. Oh, I haven't died yet. Whoa! Okay. All right. <laughs> 
I'm finally good at something. I was a big Bond fan, bro. Dude, my f get your shit together, Baker. Oh, I'm wow. starting off with no weapons. Rocket. God dang, dude. All right, okay, I see where this is going. I really like this game. Yeah, dude. I know very oh, little pig. Come, piggy. Come, piggy. Where are your little pig? <laughs> Oh, I can see how this would be ridiculous. Oh, shit. Took three, though? Boris is coming to get you, don't worry about this. I make everything okay. No way! Bam! <laughs> you run into, it's Sean Bean, man. Yeah, Sean Bean's supposed to die. Like, that's what Sean Bean does. No, Sean Bean in real life, apparently, you know, he drinks, drinks some whiskey and he's like, impervious to bullets. Died four times. You died once, twice? Yeah. There's no way, Three we've got one minute left. <laughs> because you once, twice. Three times later. Oh my God, that's it. It happened. Well done. Well done, man. This, this is cool. <sighs> Sean Bean dies, obviously, as in the notes. Absolutely does not die. This has been an inspired episode <laughs> of Retro Replay. You're welcome, everybody. Hey, kids, you're welcome. Well, let's see what's in store for them next. <laughs> we ask you, what do we play next? <gasps> Slap fight. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs>